here we are with the latest message from Simon Simon Epa and what is actually going on toward the, um, December 2nd, which is the Biafra Declaration Day. So, hello guys, if this is your first time coming to this channel to watch any video, I want to encourage you to go ahead and first of all hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification bell icon. So, when we are dropping video concerning anything concerning politics, you'll be among the first set of people to get the notification. So, a lot of video has emerged. Where people have turned their a lot of people have turned their back against Amonipa. I'll show you guys that video. And also Amonipa has released a lot of messages using some videos and some captions, you understand? Because a lot of things now is now coming up now that the date to the Biafran Declaration Day is approaching, according to what Simonipa says. So let's now dive into everything Simonipa has. For today, the first one is that Samanu actually attached a video where he said, Who be this one? They couldn't stop Biafra from coming. Look at the Olodo that claimed to be fighting for Biafra. Who we listening to this EGG? Opo, Opo, Opo. So I'm going, I'm going to attach that video to you for you guys to watch in the end of this particular video. And if I'm attaching the video, I'm going to be putting the caption in the video so that you will know this video is actually for this because. I don't want to break, you know, I don't want to break through all the explanations. So I just want to give you guys the explanation once. So I know that when you guys are going to the next section, is to watch all the video all through. So the caption will be by the side of each video. So you can know the video playing and which um, part of message is referring to in Samonipa's speech. So after that, Samonipa still went on to make another statement, which is said, the enemy has now destroyed both the terrorist state enablers and all the plan against December 2nd has been destroyed. So Samanipa is saying all the plan that, you know, to disrupt and stop the Biafran declaration that has been destroyed. And, you know, one thing I observe here is that you will never hear when the, the, the armies or the Biafran armies is being said, okay, they went to another state to cause havoc. It's, I don't think you'll have heard it. So that's why, you know, I I love those men, you understand, because they maintain their lane. Although, you know, it might be kind of critical, you understand, kind of critical when the Biafran declaration is going to want to come up. But these men have always maintained their lane. They don't leave what they ask them to do and go to another place to start destroying. No, you, you hardly hear. You, in fact, you, will never, you have, not, have never even had of it before. So, after that, Samanipa moved on to actually post a, um, this, a particular caption with some videos. He said, Breaking, sitting at home, civil disobedience for the validation of Biafran government con continues today. And here is the compliance. Tell those accepting ministerial appointment to come and serve Nigeria in their village or in their marital village. So, all this video, like I said, I'm going to add them and after after I gave you guys all the message Simonipa actually sent. So just stick to the very end of this video. So if you look at this particular one, Simonipa attached four videos to it, you understand? Where they are um it shows that they are obeying the seats at home, you understand? In Abia State, they are obeying the seats at home. So Samanipa captioned that he said breaking the eastern nigeria remain under biafran government and under my leadership as the prime minister the land remains secure peaceful and calm it is only region in nigeria that have not been ravaged by the nigerian islamic terrorist state and we are battling against the terrorists in army and police uniform only today 4th 11 2024 the entire biafra is in solidarity with the Biafran government using it at home civil disobedience. It's not enough. Simon Ipa still went on to make another post where he said, This is Aqua in the former Anambra state, under Nigeria and the president in Kemba, in Kemba state, under the United States of Biafra. Today, 4th 11, 2024, he attached the video and he, according to him, he said, 4th 11, 2024 seat. Atom. So the video is all about it at home. So and the remaining videos I want to share to you guys right now is some plans, you understand, to stop Simon Ipa, you understand, some late plans to stop Simon Ipa, which Simon Ipa came to review all those. So I'm going to play that video for you guys 
and you, for you guys to watch because a lot of plans to stop salmonic have came out and, and a lot of us don't even actually know about it so Sal salmonic bar releases all those videos so take your time please take your time to watch all these videos so that you can get the information full correctly and you know attentively so thanks for watching this video have a great day ahead bye Mama, devil go punish you devil go punish you punish your generation we are coming one by one to all of you you think we are joking you think we don't know what we are doing you think we be like a berry man only to come on media to come and dance with champagne to come and dance with drink alcohol when we say go kill him. you think we are like that you think we are like that do you see this my eye like somebody doesn't know what he's doing idiot he better autopilot all of you you guys are a bunch of fools you guys are a bunch of fools you guys are a bunch of fools. Egberi man, you are a bunch of fools. You are idiot. Screaming and I you be. The day I will catch you. Egberi man. The day I will catch you. In Europe, in Africa. The day I will catch you. That's your power when you say you get. That's your power when you say you get. Me, I go let you down like ball. Go and bet it. I will let you down. You. Egberi man. He said you are fighting freedom. You are killing our people. Forcing sit at home. Making our mother run mad. mad. Even uh, uh, that is wrong for his dear life. Re leave Peking for grand. You commit those avoc in our land. Samuel Ekpa an autopilot. Samuel Ekpa an autopilot. Even by now, our leader supposed to be released by now. Do you know Samuel Ekpa and his cohort of autopilot? You guys are the one that caused it. Do you know this? Because you are working for Nigeria government. We know it. We posted we posted this that the office, the Lazen office in Finland is in this building. And they say it's a lie. Our own is that we give you uh, notice yes. enough time ahead of time. But at the end of the day, we will confirm it. Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. So this building is a formal building of the uh, Finland National Insurance uh, Company called Keller. Keller owns this building. We were there before, but not anymore. So we have office in this building. I'm going to show Biafra how to get to our office. For yes. so those who, when I posted it, they Google this uh, particular uh, building and uh, say it's a lie. We don't do lies. No. We don't do propaganda. Follow me. <laughs> so, uh, I want Biafras to see that the Lazian office of Biafra is in this building. The building is still there, continued there, and end of the day. Let me get in so that I will welcome you, my Prime Minister. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. You. Well, of course, as you can see, uh, I'm going to take you on a, a very quick and brief tour. I think you can stay like this so we can get into the office. So here is the main, the main office of the Biafra, the main Lazian office of Biafra within this building. We have also the other office there. And of course, you're going, you will have time to you know take good pictures from here. Yeah. And then we have a uh, uh, meeting, our meeting space is here. It's very, very huge meeting space. And because we are going to have uh, a cabinet meeting. All right, let's take this further here on RT International. Now crossing live to former Nigerian presidential contender Adamu Gadaba joining us live here on RT International. Great to see you today. A very warm welcome to you. You've been listening to the story here on RT. I know you know the story. I mean, just briefly, this guy, Simon Ekpa, born in 1985, 
They say he's a Nigerian Finnish lawyer and a political activist. He's accused of essentially running a separatist movement uh, from his home in Finland. And Nigeria has demanded that Finland take measures against this activist. Why, why does the government see the activist as a threat, Adamu? Because, you know, what, what the activist is building on is something that started since 1966 in Nigeria when we had the first civilian war that is called Biafran War, when some generals in that area decided to want to secede. Then a civil war was ensured, and suddenly there was unity. But most recently, one man that was termed and educated as a terrorist in Nigeria, who is currently serving in Nigerian jail, Mr. Nnam Dikan, started the movement in the name of IPOB, that indigenous people of Biafra, to actualize the dream of that secession. He was termed, jailed currently in Nigeria. And suddenly you now have this man, who is sitting in Finland, was able to leverage on social media platforms to continue to steer violence and encourage killings and destruction in that part of the country that have known no peace for so long time. Someone ever leverage on social media, he lived in Finland, he paid Finnish tax and do everything well in Finland, happily with his family, while causing trouble and making people here to be killing each other. When that happen again, he will carry the footages of the killings and publish on his social media handles. But, but, but Mr. Gardaba, sorry, I mean, can I just jump in quickly? I mean, do you think this guy, Simon Ekpa, is working alone? Because there are some reports saying that he may have a sponsor, but that claim has not been substantiated. What do you think? I mean, are we talking about a guy on his own, or is he getting support from somewhere? There, there, is, there, there is no way you would disconnect the wide-ranging network of this Biafra movement across the world. It is there. But one thing that surprises us is the fact that he is living in a self-acclaimed democratic country, a democratic model. Finland and the country that Nigeria has a very strong strategic relationship with them. And this man is threatening to disrupt a democratic process in the coming election that is happening in just seven days from today. He insisted that he will ensure that his activists are armed and they will go to the street fight, destroy, and stop every other person from going to exercise their freedom of expression and voting. And this is the most democratic practice we have in, in, in Nigeria. In fact, Nigeria is one of the model of Western-style democracy. And this man is living in a Western country, disrupting a Western-style democracy in Nigeria. And the Finnish authority did not do it. Why, why, why do you think that is, Adam? This, why, 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 do you think, why do you think Finnish authorities have done nothing about this guy, Simon Ekpa, who's essentially trying to run a separatist movement from his home in Finland to affect Nigeria just ahead of your presidential elections. Why is Finland doing nothing? To be very frankly with you, uh, personally, this is my personal view, and I think uh, Western relationship with Nigeria has always been double standard. There has always been double standard. It appears that what Simon Ekpa is doing is either not threatening their interests or is serving their interests. So to that effect, they will fold their arms and let whatever it is that happen. But if they truly care about democracy, as they say, as they release in their press statement, as they want to support Nigeria to ensure that there is free and fair election where all Nigerians are going to vote peacefully, the best solution, the best thing they need to do is to make sure that that guy is apprehended and perhaps submitted down to Nigeria so that he can face the justice of Nigeria, since it is what in Nigeria, not Finland. All right, former Nigerian presidential contender Adamu Gadaba joining us live here on RT International. Great to see you. Thank you very much Thank for you. your time. Thank you for having me.